This is Module 5, Lesson 21. In this lesson, we'll be using visual models to add two fractions with related units in the denominators. Let's look at the first number sentence here, 3 eighths plus 3 fourths. Now, as we've discussed before, we can't add these fractions together the way they are now because the units are different. The first fraction, the units are eighths, and the second one, the units are fourths. We're going to look at what this looks like as a tape diagram. Take the first fraction, three eighths. We're going to divide our whole into eighths and shade three of them. Then our section, second fraction is three fourths, so we'll start with one whole the same size as the first one, and we'll divide it into fourths. We're talking about three fourths. In order to be able to add these together, we're going to decompose the fourths into eighths. And we can see by counting that that's six eighths, equivalent to three fourths. Now we can add our fractions since the units are the same. And we have 3 eighths plus 6 eighths would be 9 eighths, which we can decompose into 8 eighths and 1 eighth, which equals 1 and 1 eighth. So whenever possible, we're going to try to write a fraction that's greater than 1 as a mixed number. So this is a mixed number because it mixes the units 1 whole and 1 eighth. So the answer here would be 1 and 1 eighth. Looking at the next one, we have the same problem, two different units, so we can't add them yet. This one, instead of a tape diagram, we're going to show on a number line. We're going to estimate the sum first. We know one half obviously is one half. Seven eighths is almost one whole. So if we add a half and something close to a whole, we're going to get a number greater than one. So we're going to use our we're going to show 1, 0, 1, and 2 on our number line. Initially, we're going to divide it in halves, and we're going to mark our first fraction, 1 half. Then we're going to decompose those halves into eighths. So now we have eighths, so we start with one half, and we're going to move forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we end up with eleven eighths. And again, we can decompose that into eight eighths plus three eighths, or one and three eighths as a mixed number. So we can show these number sentences either as using tape diagrams or as a number line. This last one, we're going to do the addition without the model. So we're going to see that our units are different, but related in that four is a factor of eight. So in order to get eights, I'm going to need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2 by decomposing force into eighths. I also de decompose the numerator and I get six eighths. So three fourths is equivalent to six eighths. And now I can add six eighths plus six eighths gives twelve eighths, which I can decompose into eight eighths and four eighths. 8 eighths equals 1 and 4 eighths. And we could further simplify to 1 half if required. So our sum here is 1 and 4 eighths or 1 and 1 half if we simplify. Let's try this with our problem set problems. <clears throat> so for number one, 
We're drawing a tape diagram. We're decomposing one of the tape diagrams to make like units, then write the number sentence, and use the number bond to write each sum as a mixed number if that's possible. So pause the video and try A. So for A, we start out with 3 fourths. So we divide our whole into fourths. We shade three of them. Our second one is a half. We'll decompose our halves into fourths and see that this is two fourths. So if we take the three fourths from the first add end and add it to two fourths from the second, we get five fourths, which decomposes into one and one fourth. So our total is one and one fourth. Try B. Here we start with thirds. And the first one is two thirds. The second fraction is three sixths. <clears throat> and so we can add them. We're going to decompose thirds into sixths. And we see that this is four sixths. So we can add now four sixths plus three sixths equals seven sixths. And seven sixths using a number bond is six sixths plus one sixth is one and one sixth as our sum. Try C. <clears throat> we start here with 5 6. So we'll divide into 6 and shade 5 of them. And our second tape diagram is in thirds. And we have 1 third so that we can add them. We're going to decompose the thirds into six, and this is two six. So five six plus two six is seven six, which equals one and one sixth. Try D. For our first tape, we have fifths. And we shade four of them. For a second, we have tenths. And we're shading seven so that we can add them. We're going to decompose the fifths into tenths. And we have eight tenths. Now we can add eight tenths plus seven tenths gives us fifteen tenths, which will decompose into one and five tenths. Or if you simplify one and one half. <coughs> Moving on. For two, we're now going to draw a number line instead of a tape diagram. And we're still looking to form a mixed number if possible. So try A. Okay, for A first, we need to estimate. We see we have a half and we have three fourths, which is more than a half. So we know that our sum is going to be greater than one. So our number line needs to reflect that. So first we have halves. So we're going to mark our one half. Then we're going to decompose the halves into fourths. So we have one half, and we're going to move forward three fourths. One, two, three. So we end up here at five fourths, or one and one fourth. Try B. B also, 
we have six eight which six eighths which is greater than a half so our number line has to extend to two So again, we'll start with a half. This time we're going to decompose into eights. So we're going to move forward six eights. We end up here as one and two eights which also simplifies to one and one fourth. So our sum would be one and two eighths, which is equivalent to one and one fourth. Try C. Again, for this one, seven tenths is greater than one half and three fifths is greater than one half. So we know our sum is going to be greater than one. We're going to start with fifths. And we start with one, two, three fifths. Then we'll decompose our fifths into tenths. And we're going to go forward seven tenths. So we'd have 13 tenths, which would be equal to 1 and 3 tenths. Try D. Once again, we have a sum that's going to be greater than 1. We'll start with thirds. We'll mark our two thirds. Then we'll decompose into sixth. And we'll move forward five sixths. <clears throat> so that would be one and three sixths, or it would simplify to one and one half. Now for three, you're going to try to solve without a model, but if you need a model, you're welcome to use that. And we, again, will write our sum as a mixed number if possible. So pause the video and try A. For A, we look at the two denominators, four and eight, so we can't add them as they are, but four is a factor of eight. Four times two is eight. So we're going to find an equivalent fraction for three with the denominator of 8 by multiplying by 2. So we get 6 eighths, 6 eighths plus 2 eighths equals 8 eighths, which equals 1. Try B. Again, here our denominators are unequal but related. 2 is a factor of 6. 2 times 3 is 6, so we're going to start with 1 half, and we want it to become 6, so we're going to multiply by 3, both the numerator and the denominator, and we get 3 6. So 4 6 plus 3 6 equals 7 6, which decomposes into 1 and 1 6 as a mixed number. <coughs> Try C. So for this one, we're going to turn 2 thirds into 6 by multiplying by 2. And we get 4 6. So we can add 4 6 plus 4 6, which equals 8 6. And that's equal to 1 and 2 6. Or if you simplify 1 and 1 third. Try D. For this one, we're going to turn fifths into 
tenths by multiplying by 2. So we have 6 tenths, so 8 tenths plus 6 tenths is 14 tenths, which would be 1 and 4 tenths. And again, if you want to simplify, 1 and 2 fifths. Try E. For E, we can turn 3 fourths into an equivalent fraction in eighths by multiplying by 2 and get 6 eighths. So 5 eighths plus 6 eighths equals 11 eighths, which equals 1 and 3 eighths. Try F. For this one, we're going to turn 2 fourths into a equivalent fraction with the new units of eighths by decomposing by 2. So we get 4 eighths, 5 eighths plus 4 eighths equals 9 eighths, which equals 1 and 1 eighth. Try G. For this one, we can find an equivalent fraction for one half with the denominator of eight by multiplying by four. So one half equals four eighths, and four eighths plus five eighths is nine eighths, which equals eight eighths plus one eighth, which equals one and one eighth. <coughs> Try H. Here we'll do an equivalent fraction for four fifths that turns it into units of tenths by multiplying by two. And we get eight tenths, so three tenths plus eight tenths is eleven tenths, which equals one and one tenth. And that concludes lesson twenty one.